second year here, but uh, obviously added role as a as a leader this year. Um, when you think about the season, obviously ended earlier than than what you wanted, but. Um, what are kind of your, some of your reflections on, on the year? Yeah, I mean, a lot of up and downs. I mean, obviously, you know, we were, we had some, we were pretty streaky as a team. So, um, yeah, obviously it's frustrating when you lose as early as we did, but I was, uh, I was proud of the guys for dealing with the adversity, a lot of guys going up and down, a lot of injuries. So, uh, for the guys to keep working and never give up and, and keep fighting, I was, I was really proud of, but yeah, I mean, um, like I said, it was, we were pretty inconsistent, which is tough and it was an early exit, but, uh, we had a great group of guys. So it was, it was still a lot of fun. Yeah, in the playoffs, it did seem like everybody came together. And even though it wasn't a win either of those games, I mean, you guys obviously played pretty good hockey during during those two games. Yeah, I know, especially that first game, that Wednesday night, that overtime loss. I thought we played good enough to win that game for sure. And it was frustrating to, uh, you know, have a couple bounces, didn't go our way. and, and that's But that's playoff hockey, right? You're supposed to be the, that's the nation of the beast with these short series now. So um, that's that's the way it goes. But yeah, like you said, I was, I was really proud of the guys for for playing two pretty good games, um, especially with how consistent we've been and all the adversity we've been there. So it was, it was good to see that. All that with the whole season did seem like you said to tighten up the group. I mean, it seemed like even though, hey, wins and losses, you weren't where you wanted to be, the group was was pretty tight. What do you attribute that to? Um, I think just the, the individuals in the room. You know, we have a lot of great guys. So, I mean, it was they're a lot of fun to be around. So um, even though we were losing, we were trying to, you know, keep it upbeat, um, you know, mindset mentality. So. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, like I said, it was tough sometimes, but we had, we had a lot of great guys that were fun to be around and fun to practice. So I think it better with each day. So I think that's probably what I should be to it. Uh, you know, this is the first year in a little while where there hasn't been any talk of COVID. I mean, what was it like to kind of go back to, you got to play in every single game and, and you had a normal schedule this year? Yeah, no, it was, yeah. Like you said, it was more normal. I think that was the thing. Um, and for some guys, they don't really know what normal is, right? Cause they've been, you know, only pro so long. So. It was good to get back to normal. Obviously, they added some games from your schedule a little tougher, but um, besides that, yeah, it was great to see fans in the building all the time and, and work consistently. So, yeah, that's what it's all about, right? You want to play in front of uh, big buildings and big fans. So, um, yeah, it was just definitely, uh, it was definitely a different feel. I don't think this is the first time you've played in every game. I think you did it earlier in your career, but yeah. I mean, when you look back on it, it is a long season. What's it like to to be able to make it through the whole year and, and be in every single game? Yeah, no, that's important, right? I mean, you always want to be available for your team. Um, you always want to try to help your team win and that's be on the ice. And um, yeah, I did it once earlier in my career and, and I told, uh, obviously dudes had the same thing. So I was, I told them how proud of, of him I was. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a tough thing because, you know, he was banged up at some points this year and he never, he never came out of the lineup, even though probably easily could have. And so, yeah, it's, uh, it's just one of those things where it's, you know, I was really, really proud of him for doing that for sure. Uh, for you, the summer, what does it look like? Uh, what do you try to do to kind of give yourself some time off, but also prepare for another year? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, yeah, you got to balance uh, taking a break and especially I think mentally it's, it's big to take a break from hockey for a bit. And, and see your family. I'm um, obviously like being here and everyone going home, everyone can see their families and, and spend time with them and, and their friends and stuff like that. Obviously you don't get to see them much during the year. So do that and, and definitely, you know, take a break and then get back in the gym and start training and skiing and get ready for, for next year. But I think taking a break is big, especially for the mental side of it. Last year, you had an experience to go to the world championships, uh, represent your country. And uh, it sounds like you're doing that again. Uh, what are your reactions to getting invited back, getting another opportunity to, to do that again? Yeah, no, I mean, it's a tremendous honor. Anytime you get to put on that jersey, obviously, it's um, I was very fortunate enough to get invited. And that's something, you know, I'll, I'll always go to and and uh, and try to help them when I any way I can. So, yeah, I'm really excited and, and we'll see what, see what happens. Um, anything that you want to uh, last year, you guys had a, a chance there. You guys had a pretty good group. Um, is there anything you, you want to change or now that you're getting a second chance to go back, is there anything uh, you're trying to do differently there? Uh, no, I mean, for me, I had a different experience last year. I mean, I, I didn't show up until halfway through. Um, but yeah, so uh, for me, it's just, you know, like I said, representing your country, putting on the material is always special. So for me, I'm going to enjoy it and try to help the team win any way I can. A little bit different in that last year, you were on a one-year deal. This year, knowing that you're you're back for a second season, uh, does that change anything at all for you as far as kind of having it be a little more of a secure summer? Um, no, it doesn't really change for me. I, either way, I'm you know training and skating the same way I always do, and, and try to get ready for next year. Um, it's a little different, obviously, knowing you know I'll be back here. Um, like last year, I didn't really know that leaving, but at the same time, you know, that doesn't change the way I train or the way I skate or where I go about my business. So. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, for me, it's, yeah, just knowing that I'll be back. So yeah, it's pretty much it.